Emma and Steve here from Showrooms Online and today we're at Keeble Fields by Bovis Homes. Keeble Fields is located in Fairford in Gloucestershire. The house that we're going to view today is the Stratford, a lovely stone fronted two and a half storey five bedroom detached house. Let's take a look. Welcome to the Stratford, a five bedroom detached house. Yes. Do you know something, the Stratford, I don't want to come across as being a Bovis fan or anything like that, but the Stratford is one of my favorite house types. I just love it. It's just such an impressive looking house. You can see there it it's is. just got a presence about it. Um, it's in stone. It's fantastic. Yes. And I think we're in for a treat with this house. Certainly are. Let's start with the uh, sitting room. This sitting room goes from the front of the house to the back of the house. It's on the left hand side in this house. What a beautiful living room. So the dimensions for this sitting room are 6 metres 3 in length and 3 metres 5 across. We're lucky today. We've got a beautiful sunny day. Perfect for viewing houses. So you can see the sun streaming in through these French doors here. What an back. impressive wall around the garden, eh? What an impressive lawn. It is, Look that's green. That. Yeah. It is. Beautiful view there right at the back. So this actually comes, this is full length, front, full yes, width is. from half back to front. And if we can show you, they've got two sofas in here and a large chair. They've got a large piece of furniture there, but there's room for plenty more. If you've yeah. got lots of things. They've got the TV on there. There's also a point in that corner as well. So we've got a lovely big window here at the front. You're right, you're not short sockets here. You've got a, you've got aerial sockets, you've got um, phone sockets, Ooh, lots of there clubs. There is an abundance. So back into this lovely hallway, they've got a gorgeous tile floor. I like that little threshold there. The, the I think it's a good idea actually, and it does save your tiles when you come yeah, in. Yeah. You can kick your shoes off there, can't you? stop for a minute while you hang your coats up and whatever. I like the tiling, it follows right the way through. Okay, we've got a cupboard here under the stairs, also tiled, that's useful, and there's sockets in there as well. Yeah, which is, which is mm. I'm not quite sure what you plug in in a cupboard. Maybe you viewers know, let us know what you might plug in yeah, in your cupboard. Yeah, yeah. Right, oh, look at this. So, this ah. is your cloakroom utility. Oh, we've seen this. We've we, seen we have this seen this. It's, it's a bogus feature, isn't it? Yeah, well, I've only seen it in the Canterbury. Yeah, so let me open some cupboards. Right, so you've got your boiler in there, That's tucked away. That's neatly put in there, isn't it? You wouldn't know, would no. you? Obviously, you've got your loo and your sink. I do love the bovis slogans. Some like it hot. <laughs> Actually, because some like your heart, it hides out, and yet yeah, the boilers, it's all the boilers included in the house. Yeah. Well, right, you've got your washing machine in here. Yeah. So you've got room for one appliance, haven't you? Yeah. And some cupboard space. Yeah. So you'd need a washer and a dryer. Yeah. Um, yeah, you could fit it on the dryer, but you haven't got anywhere for it to vent, I suppose. Yeah. But plenty of room, and it keeps your laundry out. But if you've got a nice garden it? like that, I'd be putting my washing in the Absolutely. garden. Absolutely. But also it's got its own window, yeah. which is always a bonus, so it's very light. Okay, so through to my left then we've got the kitchen and dining room. And they've even squeezed the little cheeky sofa in here yeah. as well for a family area, that's nice. It's great, isn't it? lovely big window that, What a it? big window, yeah, isn't that great? Four panes. I like that. And a window with a lot of character yeah. too. I mean that's what this house is. Yeah, character. All the houses on this development, yeah. You don't buy a stone-fronted house, do you, that's no. got character. Very in keeping with the local area. So they've got six dining chairs around this table. So you can hold a, a large dinner yeah. party if you wanted. Right, let me find some dimensions for you. Kitchen, three, four by three, six. So let's take a look. We've got your fridge and freezer, double oven, lots of cupboard space. What's in here? There you go, another cupboard. Oh, there's a lot of storage, isn't there? There Anything is, else? yeah. You've got your dishwasher here, integrated appliances there, more cupboard space, lots of drawers, 
and then it tells you about the soft clothes on that. So five ring hob, very, very nice. Hot point appliances. So you've got a window there by the sink. You can look outside while you're washing up. Although if you've got a dishwasher, you wouldn't bother, would you? So, and then here's your door to the back garden. This is your access. There's outside. so much it does. It's so much. It's great that you can see the back and the front of the well, house. Have you seen that this has got a beautiful wall all the way around? Yeah, oh, you could do a really nice patio it? outside there. Yeah. And actually, this is for sale, this house. It is. Beautiful. So if you would like this Stratford, well, on leaseback, obviously, then why not? But they are going to be releasing four new Stratfords very, very soon on this development, as I, I was, was told. I was going to say that this area is actually quite versatile. Yeah. You could put a corner sofa there if you wanted, give you an extra seating area, you could have a dining table on this side. Plenty of options with your space at this end. Not everybody has a dining table with six chairs, yeah. do they? No. If you had a smaller table, it would all work in that area. This is a three-storey house. Okay, so here on the first floor, check it out, bedroom three. Wow. That's good size. You know, you've got the sun streaming in here today, haven't you? Yeah. Bedroom three, three metres five by three metres four. And someone's left their laptop out on the bed. It's a really big bedroom. You've got lots and lots of additional space for wardrobes, chest of drawers, etc. Whatever you want going on in here, isn't it? Very, very nice. So across the landing then, we've got a bathroom. And incidentally, we've just passed this lovely area here on the landing. So what have we got? We've got a bath with a shower over the bath with a shower screen, suspended toilet and sink, and its own lovely large window, which it's got the sun shining in today. Very, very nice. So, as we go on back towards the front of the house, we've got bedroom one. So this is actually the master bedroom. Dimensions of bedroom one are four meters by three meters four. It's got some fitted wardrobes here behind the uh, behind the door. Now, I'm not sure what's included in terms of wardrobes. They may be an upgrade, but it's got its own ensuite. Very quiet today, yeah. I'm a cameraman, you see. I've got my new camera, you see. Mm. So I'm, I'm actually looking at a viewfinder. Um, through the viewfinder, um, it's a bit di difficult actually because I'm trying to make it as smooth as I possibly can. So, uh, you know, have a look through there. That frames out nicely, doesn't Isn't it? That beautiful, yeah. So, you've got a really good view of what's going on in the street from here. Yeah, I'll put the lovely jump back. Right, we've got bedroom four then here at the front of the house. Oh, this is nice. This is a cute little room. Bedroom four. Three metres six by two metres eight. I do most certainly like the rabbit. So they've got this dressed as a single bedroom. Plenty of room. Lovely, lovely bed knobs and broomsticks bed. I like that. That's lovely. Can you actually st well, they still buy beds like this then? Yes, you can. Yeah, yeah. nice. It's beautiful, oh, isn't it? Yeah. Very, very in keeping. Interior design is lovely in this house. So we have another floor to go. I was saying that because interior design isn't my thing. House design is. So we'll go on up to the second floor. So we're here on the second floor. We've got bedroom five. <gasps> wow. That so is a nice room. So here we are at the top of the house. This is huge, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right, bedroom five, what have we got? 
5 metres 2 that way, 3 metres 6 that way. Cavernous. It is a big, got you the roof are right in the roof. the roof. Yeah. Room for a humongous bed in here if you wanted one. I mean, on the plan, this is listed as bedroom 5 or an office. Oh, it'd be a big it office. certainly would be. It is a very quirky room, though, isn't it? It's got, you know, you've got the dormer there, but on the other yeah. side, you've got a very pretty little window there. Yeah, the front, it is. It? it is. But even though they are quite small windows, I still think it's quite light in here. Lovely. Very, very nice indeed. Right then. So across to this side. Oh, we've got a cupboard here. This is a cupboard as well. Oh, we've got the. Uh, the tank. The yes. Airing cupboard. Yes. Right then, and we've got bedroom two then here. Just look at that. I'm just about to catch the sun, as you can see, just streaming through that window there. Very nice. And this, this is bedroom is two. It's got a slightly darker feel, yeah. but that's because it's got an ensuite, so it's actually closed off on that side. Yeah. Right, bedroom two dimensions: four meters four by three meters two. Again, another beautiful bed. You know, you've got the loft access in this room. But we what of our loft. You know what I like about the interior design of this house is that it's not overdone. No, it's, it's quite subtle. simple. It's very country chic. It's subtle, but it's beautiful, and it fits this house perfectly. I like it a lot. I'm not sure what I think of bearded man there though. Do you think he lives here? He looks a bit random, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah. How does he fit? Hmm. Don't know. Does anybody know him? Right then, ensuite. Have a look at the sunshine in here. Yeah, it is nice. What a lovely catchment of, of sunlight. Very nice, isn't it? Yeah. Good sized shower. Pretty much level access. You've got a suspended toilet and sink. Very clean lines. Nice, you it? say suspended, I say cantilevered. Whatever. It's the same I thing. Think it is the same thing. Let's go back out onto this lovely landing and do our summary. Well, this is our summary in the summary, our part of the landing. Right. This is the five bedroomed Stratford by Bovis Homes. My favourite house. We are on Keeble Fields, which is in Fairford. In Gloucestershire. Yes. Lovely house, that. lovely house. Good. Yes. So what do we know about this, this area? That's a good point. Mm. Well, I, I what I know is that it's not too far away from Sirencester, uh, but also it's not too far away from Oxford either. Yes. You've got the, you've got the motorway um, not, not too far away as well. Yes. Um, good schools. Yeah, shops, well you've got the M4, amenities. the M4, yeah. the M5 All on and the M40. You can get anywhere. Great location. Ofsted schools. Yes. Also a great little, I'll tell you what, it's like a chocolate box village. But it's not a village, it's a town. But you just get the feeling that you're living in a village. Mm. Um, all the all the shops you'll ever need there. And this development's quite tucked away here. It's not kind of right on the front. It's set back a little bit. So you would need, you'd blink and you'll pass it. Mm. But what a lovely retreat to come and buy a lovely house from Bovis. So, we'd like to know what you think. Are you looking in this area? Are you looking for a Bovis house? Are you looking at this house type? Let us know, because we're always very interested, and Bovis Homes particularly would like to know what you think of this house and this development. So, please give us your feedback. Otherwise, we'll catch you on our next video. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching.